Why do you believe that the president said the right thing during Charlottesville? Well, I'll tell you, the main reason is because I can read and I have read the transcript. So rather than believing in a fairy tale narrative, if we deal in the actual evidence, and in this case, that is a transcript of what was said, uh, it's impossible to determine anything except for his intention, which was to totally condemn racism. And, and I have to say, Chris, the way you edited that segment that you showed just before this was appallingly misleading because you cut the quote off at a critical juncture. If you continue the quote you were showing, and I want to quote directly here because I want to be extremely precise. He said, you had people in that group who were there to protest the taking down of, to them, a very, very important statue mm -hmm. and the renaming of a park from Robert E. Lee to another name. He then continued in the next answer, mm -hmm. I am not talking about the neo-Nazis and white nationalists mm -hmm. because they should be condemned totally, mm -hmm. end quote. So he was unequivocal that he was not talking about racists or neo-Nazis, mm -hmm. but the way you deceptively edited what there's you nothing, just showed there's, there's nothing made it look as it. though he was. All right, so Rob, you actually said early on what the president said wasn't helpful. I want you people to know you were on the record as saying that, unlike Steve. Now, anybody can go and look at this. I just laid it out. There is no battle here over context. Were people down there arguing about Confederate statutes in, statues in part? Yes. Were there good people, not good people? I don't know. It depends why they want the statues to stay up, um, right? Because there's a lot of bigotry involved in some of those monuments. It's not just about Robert E. Lee being a general. Put it to the side. The day of the violence, Counselor, was there any protest of good people talking about the monuments? The answer must be no. It was an organized march by neo-Nazis. Nobody was marching alongside those people who were good people. It was single purpose. Isn't that the truth? So I agree with Steve and disagree with Steve on this one. I do think that in the larger context of everything he said, people would come to different conclusions. However, he was very inartful to be honest and to be, you know, forgiving to him. And that wasn't the context where he should have had something as pinpointed as, as what he said about the, both sides. That was the wrong time to do that. I think we could have had a debate about that on a broader scale. I'm here in Atlanta right now, and I walk through the Capitol, the state Capitol today, and they have the history of the state, and they have exhibits. And in those exhibits, they have photos of past governors and, and everyone. And the Confederate flag is still in the pictures mm -hmm. because it is very much part of Georgia's history and the South's history. So, yes, there are emotional bonds for different people, and it creates emotions mm -hmm. on all different spectrums. But the thing that bothers me the most of, of how this is being played out, Chris, is that the left, and, and quite frankly, a lot of the media, is trying to conflate these absolutely abhorrent people, these white nationalists, who are a fringe group, they're completely on their own island. And, and the media is trying to conflate them with the right, with conservatives, with Republicans. I, Steve, and everybody reputes them. They have nothing to do with our party, and they should be outcasts. You haven't heard me say any of that, right? No, but I've heard many other people right, but say I, that. Look, who, who show is this? It's yours. All right, so let's just deal with that right now. Chris, Steve, to your point, though. Here's, here's the thing. Let me, let me bounce back at you on this. He said two things, okay? And I do want people to remember, he wasn't on this correction campaign back then. He had plenty of opportunities to do it. He didn't. He said two things. One, there's blame on both sides for the violence. Now, Steve, you can talk all left all day long, and that's fine with me. I have no problem with it. People who are rogue actors and criminals deserve the harsh treatment of the law. But whether you want to talk about Antifa or Black Lives Matter or any of the groups that assembled that day to fight against neo-Nazis, you make a moral equivalent between those two actions, you're making a mistake in America. The president did it that day. And you know it was a mistake. Uh, I don't Chris, know why you don't own that. No. Chris, you and I have talked about this before. I yes. do not make any differentiation between neo-Nazis and Antifa. Just because they claim in their name that they are anti-fascist, their tactics are, in fact, totally fascist. One of the people groups who was put on created masks, to kill no. people they don't like. The other group, right. and, so and was Black Antifa. Lives Matter, Antifa. has hangers-on and aberrant actors within their ranks. But and the groups no. were not created to destroy parts of humanity. 
It's Come not on, Aberrant Steve. within Antifa. They they put on masks and helmets and they show up with clubs to damage property there and to hurt bad people. They elements are they are in the group. They are America's brown shirts, and there is no difference between Antifa and those neo-Nazis. Both sides are thugs. Both sides are reprehensible. Look, here's the point about both sides, is a lot of really nasty people showed up there intending to do harm, and that's terrible. There were also very good people on both sides. And by the way, you say there was no one good protesting on uh, to maintain it was statues. was a neo who would disagree with you rally. Who would disagree with you is the New York Times, the New York Times, who quoted in August, they, they interviewed Michelle Percy, who showed up with a group of people who, according to the New York Times, had no interest in racism, but they did have interest in free speech right. and in preserving Did she march monuments. alongside so the neo-Nazis? Those people, Did they, she were march the same, they were in the Charlottesville neo Not that together. day for that I, march, look, Steve. Chris, and that is the confusion yes, yes, of it. Yes, she was there. And no, no, she did not march and, and look, next here's the thing, to neo-Nazis, Steve. And you know Here's it. what's not confusing, is that the president said, I am not talking, this, quote, I am not talking about white nationals and neo-Nazis because they should be condemned totally. I mean, which part of that can we not grasp and understand? Well, so one, at con worst, contextually, let's just say, he wasn't being asked about the protests when he said the good people on both sides part. So even if you want to chalk it up to all right, he was talking about a different aspect of it at that time, but he didn't mean what you think he meant. Fine. He gave a moral no, equivalence we know he's... to people on both sides of the violence, and I've never heard that from well, a president again, before, you, that Chris, the people you, fighting against the you... Nazis are as bad as the Nazis. Steve, you tell no, me. No, no, you continue. We've had this said? debate many times. You're trying to tell me that Antifa, okay, that Antifa, simply because they're leftist, violent leftists, that they are somehow morally superior to Is violent far rightists. And I'm saying Rob both Astorino. of those Hold fringe elements I hear how you are feel equally about reprehensible. Rob Astorino. Well, you I mean, cannot I'll... say that Antifa were designed to kill the people that they don't like. It doesn't matter what they were designed for. It's what they're becoming. And they are becoming not just radical, they are becoming violent and they are going to kill people. And that has to be condemned just as harshly as any other hate group out there so what that you tries think to prevent people. So what you think is becoming and may be someday. No, no, what they are now. is equal to no, Nazi. No, what they are, Chris, no, no, what no. they are. They have taken over Portland. You know, when they had that incident, the police won't even respond because they've become so violent. Look, these are areas of concern that test. everyone Nobody's has to be concerned about. Nobody's disagreeing with the criminal activity. As soon as a protest becomes a riot, you're criminals, and you should be treated that way. That's the law. That's simple. Yeah. And these All thugs, I'm going to say is these this. thugs have pipes. They you have bricks. You will look at Black Lives Matter. People. I've been with those people in the streets. You can talk about Antifa. I've watched them in the streets protesting in different situations. Okay, there are certainly aspects of them that are true to a cause. That is a good cause. They want social justice. They want whatever they want in that context. You tell Not me Antifa. when that is Antifa ever is happened. Artists. You tell me when that has ever happened with neo Nazis. Where they have ever been doing Chris, Antifa the right thing. Antifa is not a good cause. Antifa does not have good aims. Antifa wants power, wants political power taken uh, through force. That's what Antifa is Steve, all about. I mean, they be, are the just inheritors be clear about of what Nazis I'm saying. and brown I am shirts. not here to espouse Antifa or any group on the political well, sure spectrum. sounds like it. No, because you want it to be like that because you want it to be simple. No. And you want to be able to run away after something like this and say, Cuomo loves the alt-left. He <laughs> loves them. And you know it's not true. You know it's BS. What I'm saying is this. You don't draw a moral equivalence between neo-Nazis and the people there to fight against them. You don't do it in that context because it's not what we are about in this country. Okay. And Rob, what, when you pair it with president a president who refuses to call out Steve King, a president who says that the problems with domestic terrorism, with right-wing extremists, is not a big deal, but he talks about Islam hating all of us, when they are nowhere near responsible for what we're dealing with here in terms of death and attacks as the right-wing extremists, when you put it all together, it makes you wonder, Rob, why is he so soft on one and so loud on the other? Help me soft. understand. He said condemn totally. He does not he talk about the people totally. who attack these synagogues and who attack Muslims the way he does talk about Muslims who do the attacking, and you know it. And if really, you want, you know who I'll send you, you know volumes who of you? his statements. Yeah, who? Okay, you know who would disagree with you who? about that is Rabbi Goldstein today. Yeah, I heard uh, that him. That heroic man. Who, I heard who him, spoke, and I respect his pain, and I respect his and, message. And, 
and the consolation that the president brought him with his words of compassion. And that is not that is not the story, by the way, of a man who hates Jews and who praises Nazis. As a matter of fact, quite the opposite. I didn't say uh, he praises Nazis and I didn't say he hates Jews. If you can only resort to the absurd, Steve, you're not worth the position. Don't resort oh. to the absurd. I'm saying he's quiet. Oh, when it comes to how he condemns the right extremists. And he's not quiet. And I he's just read you the, the quote, Muslims. Chris. He said condemned, it. No, and he, condemned totally. But he totally. also said that they were both condemned sides to blame. Totally. He said there were good people on both sides. He never talks like that about Muslims, Rob. And you know it. He says all of Islam hates us. Have you ever heard him go after any of these people who've done these attacks in the synagogues, these right-wing extremists, the way he does go after Muslims? You know the but, answer is no. The question is why not? Look, Chris, I, you know, here, here's the argument that I'm hearing right now, and I, and I see it all the time in, in the media, and the Democrats love to push this, that neo-Nazis and white supremacists equals Republicans. No, I'm not saying any of I'm that. Not, I'm asking you I'm why you, he's so quiet on listen, it and so loud you, on the other. I'm telling you what the narrative is. But and what I'm is being asking pushed. you a question. Don't blame me for a narrative I'm not I'm not, I'm not saying you. I'm saying this is the know, narrative just that answer we, my question. we Republicans Why face all the time. Why is he soft and quiet about this and loud and proud about the other? I don't think he is soft about this. Not at all. 